What's up guys, it's you and welcome to a fun little replay that I have right here and mainly this is going up because Poke Battle servers are under maintenance today, meaning that I won't be able to upload Poke Battle Saturdays, which is a little bit unfortunate, but however, I do have a little special treat for you guys here today and um, this is actually an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire OU battle. Um, that I'm bringing to the channel. I want to do a lot more of these. I'll probably bring them to you in form of replay since there's no official ladder for them yet. But uh, I built two teams here. They're both Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Legal because Pokemon Showdown has added the uh, Mega Stones and whatnot. So if we're going to look at team preview... Oh, by the way, this is against Tridents. Um, his link will be in the channel description below. You guys should go check him out. He's a super cool guy. First of all, looking at his team, I built his team, but he made a few modifications right after I passed it to him. Which you guys will see does end up mattering later in the match. Um, because looking at... Oh, I have my mouse just sitting right there. So I apologize about that. But anyway, looking at his team, we have an Excadrill, which is Sand Rush because of the Tyranitar. We have Choice Scarfed Star Raptor, which is basically here for the purpose of uh, Bird Spam, along with uh, t Choice Ban and Talon Flame, which is super scary. Then we have Mega Sceptile, who in my opinion is a really good partner for Bird Spam, because, it, because uh, Mega Sceptile... Mega Sceptile is immune to electric type attacks, meaning I have to play my Thunderous very carefully and specifically choose when to go for HP Ice and when to go for T-Bolt because I don't want this, um, because I do not want Mega Sceptile coming in and getting a boost. Um, as I said, we have the Choice Ben and Talon Flame. We have the uh, Smooth Stone, Smooth Rock, Smooth Stone, uh, Smooth Rock and or Smooth Stone Tyranitar, and then we have the Thunderous on his team. So looking at my team, my team is kind of a get out and run hyper offense team. It's a team that I'm going to use a lot once the meta kind of settles down because it has a lot of very strong Pokemon. The first of which is a Focus Sash Terrakion, which is just basically here to get up rocks um, and to kind of pressure up my opponent's leads, and which actually kind of works out for me in this battle. Then we also have uh, the Mega of the team, which is Mega Metagross, which um, is kind of an interesting spread. I'm still playing around with coverage moves to kind of find out what I want to do with it. It's an Adamant Metagross with... Uh, Bullet Punch, Zen Headbutt, Earthquake, and Ice Punch for Gliscor. And then we also have Choice Band and Dragonite, which is basically here to kind of promote this Onslaught style of offense I'm going for, which um, basically allows Mega Dragonite, or er, <laughs> Choice Band and Dragonite to weaken opposing physical walls early in the game, or clean up late game, um, because I do have Mega Metagross and Choice Band and Dragonite, which is kind of the offensive core of the team. And then we also have uh, Thunderous, which is kind of a supportish Thunderous with T-Bolt, HP Ice, Taunt, and Thunder Wave to help me beat Stall. And then I also have a uh, Life Orb Greninja, because Greninja is a really good Pokemon, and I needed another special attacker and a resistance to ice, so that kind of works out for me. And then we also have Choice Scarf Excadrill, which is here to rapid spin for my two Pokemon weak to Stealth Rocks, and also to get annoying stuff like Sticky Web out of the way. But let's jump right into this battle, because it is actually a pretty good one. Um, so immediately I'm going to lead Terrakion as he leads with Thunderous. Oh, and by the way, these are all kind of weird nicknames because I was listening to No Flex Zone when I, when I made his team and I was listening to that Skeleton song when I made my team, so they're both nicknamed after that. He's going to lead Thunderous, I lead Terrakion. Um, I predict him to taunt, go straight away for the Stone Edge as he makes a good play, goes out in the Excadrill to kind of scout that. And um, right here I do end up going for the close combat thinking, oh, he may think that I'm not sash from choice and i end up doing 50 percent to this thunderous which is actually really really nice it's good to get that damage off early in the match because it does matter right here i'm going to predict in the t-bolt he does so and i'm going to go ahead and get on my rocks which is good because it helps me pressure his two birds and puts a lot more pressure on excadrill he goes for t-bolt again to finish me off which is fine he takes the six fire lead as i get rid of my suicide lead and right here i'm going to go out into my excadrill because he can't t-wave me and uh, he ends up switching out and that and when he switched that right there, I was like, okay, he didn't change anything on that Thunderous because I'm fairly certain that he would have gone for the Focus Blast if he had it. Um, but that, that kind of gave me a false sense throughout the match. I was so close to going for Iron Head right here because we were sitting in call and I was like, oh man, should I do it? And I didn't do it. I ended up going for Rock Slide, getting about 20% off on this T-Tar, which is okay. He's actually Leftovers T-Tar. Um, which does make a difference. I end up going out into Greninja right here as he makes the good double into his Sceptile. And right here he got a little confused and it's worth noting because he thought that a uh, speed speed changed immediately upon Mega Evolution, so he thought he was in the clear here and he would sweep my team. However, I'm just going to surprise him here. I know that I outspeed him by about six 
base points, and I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, neutralizing his Mega Sceptile, which is really, really nice. And uh, so now he's going to go ahead and go out into his Excadrill, because he knows he can pressure me and go for the Iron Head. I'm just going to go ahead and sag Greninja right here. I thought about going to Thunderous, but it wasn't worth it. I couldn't risk losing Thunderous. I'm going to go out into my Dragonite right here and go straight away for the Earthquake, thinking that... He would stay in and try to rock slide me. He makes the good play, goes out in the thunder. So at this point in the match, I'm getting outplayed. And I need to kind of fall back on my priority late game and Mega Metagross to kind of wall break for my team. Here he ends up going for Focus Blast, completely annihilating me as I am now in a 5-3 hole and I'm really going to bite the dust if I'm not careful. Um, so now I'm going to go straight away for the extreme speed, get rid of his thunders, bring this down to a 4-3 match. So it's a little bit more manageable for me. He goes out into Tyranitar. Um, I... I'm going to go ahead and switch, he makes a good play, goes for the Pursuit, breaks my multi-scale, which is really important, and um, now I have the Beast, the Beast is inside, it's on the field, Mega Metagross is going to go ahead and Mega Evolve, and I'm just going to go straight away for the Earthquake and make a really dumb play, and the reason I say this is a really dumb play is because I lost nothing by going for Bullet Punch right there and getting off some more residual damage, but this is good, he goes out into his Excadrill right here as I end up switching out into my Thunderous. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I've probably lost this game. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the HP Ice, you know. Maybe if you miss this one, I can tank out. And uh, I don't actually flinch right here, which is nice. And I get off the, the neutral hidden power. I have HP Ice. So uh, that damage on um, Excadrill doesn't really matter, as you guys will see. Because Meta Metagross, Mega Metagross, is an absolute bulky lord. I'm going to go out into it right here. And he's going to go out into his, into his Tyranitar because the sand is out, and I outspeed him because it's super fast. I'm going to go for the Earthquake and knock him out right here, which is important. He goes out into his Excadrill, and is going to go for the Earthquake. He's adamant. It did 92.4%. I tank out, and I'm able to knock him out with an Earthquake, which is super important. And uh, he goes out into his Star Raptor right here, and look at this. This is a Bullet Punch. That did 42%. After two Rock Switch-ins, that's a roll on whether I knock him out. So Me Mega Metagross is super powerful. He realizes he has lost right here, ends up going for the U-turn, and uh, sacks his talent plane because he knows that I am banded Dragonite in the back and I can just click E-Speed twice and win. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish him off with the E-Speed right here. So that was a very, very good game. And I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire OU battle. I'm really looking forward to bringing you guys more of these. It's super fun to explore the new meta. Check out Trident's uh, channel. He will be in the description below. And uh, make sure to leave a comment. Do you guys want to see more of these? I certainly want to bring more of them to you. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.